Hello and welcome back to Against the Storm. In our last episode, we made some really decent progress here in the marshlands. And uh, we've, we've opened up a quite a few glades to the point where I was comfortable opening up a forbidden glade, even at whatever we are here, nine bars in. So we have a forbidden glade. We have a, a, a glade event that we started working just barely at the end of the last episode. And we also have a giant proto fungus that I want to set up its own dedicated herbalist camp for. While the other one, you know, does the miscellaneous mushroom gathering and whatnot here uh, on the ground. Wherever I left it. Oh, there it is over there. Okay, so we're going to set up another one of those. We're going to unpause and let them get working on the uh, drainage mole event here. While the trees clearing, tree clearing is going on and we set up another herbalist camp if I didn't already. But I might have already. I did already. Good job, Wally. And that, of course, wants me to move over here, which makes complete sense because, well, this is where it goes. Let's do this. Uh, the road, I think I'm going to put right across the front of... Uh, maybe we do it like this. Right across the front of the event, or the the uh, the giant thing here. Um, so, like, right across through here. And then they can um, kind of go from there. We'll put a storage in here, and actually, maybe I should move this slightly so I can put the storage in right there. Let's get that going, too. There. Uh, give me priority on this. All we need is one tick of priority, but priority nonetheless. And there's some coal and some uh, copper back here under the trees. There is some... That's it. I can't remember what else we had in this biome. But, I mean, or this glade. The most important thing, of course, is the giant protofungus. I'm not going to staff this up with anybody until we have the storage here, because for, for what this is, I want them to just be able to do, do, do right in the storage there. Uh, we have these two people are have a minute or so left. We're doing very well. Uh, that was that one. That was that one. Okay. I like how this one, these always give, like, not just food resources, but um, kind of random resources. In this case, of course, the mushrooms, but also the um, the pigment and the and the water skins and the, and the dew. The, yeah, the, whatever it's called, the dew. Do the dew. Uh, here. Spark do. That's what it's called. Uh, so we can actually probably turn this on, although we can do bugs. We have a bug camp. Uh, clay and stone are six and one half dozen the other, but we could turn this on then once we have that spark do coming in. If we wanted to be super adventurous too, by the way, we could actually open up all three of the forbidden glades here and be able to see all three of the different, um... The, the different giant uh, critters, but we don't have a tra we do have a trapper's camp. I don't remember what the third one is though. Trapper, herbalist, and what? Uh, forager, I think is the third. Need this is what the third one needs. It's the giant proto wheat. I think is the is the is the is the forager camp, and then it's like a giant leviathan, which looks like these critters on the ground. Which, if anybody had noticed, I totally left pulled the meat guy away from this. In the middle of harvesting it. Oops. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at Old Farloff. Um, packs of building materials. We need those 15. We need packs of crops. What's going on with packs of crops? Uh, here? No. Where's my packs of crops? Are they just... No. Actually, I can pull this guy out. There. Uh, packs of crops are where? There. Um, that's because... Oh, I need to select mushrooms for these. We're going to have plenty of mushrooms coming in. I'm going to leave roots alone. Uh, oh, I didn't set a limit on this either. Oopsie. Uh, 20? Sounds good to me. Uh, we need we need to start making skewers, though. Or we need to get some skewers somehow. We've, we've served plenty of pickled goods and plenty of jerky, but the skewers are still a problem. Oh, back to Farloff. Um, so, packs of provisions we can... We can sell. We can definitely sell those. Um, Old Farleft doesn't have any tools for us. Uh, do, do, do. That would be not a bad thing if I could get that much stuff. Copper and wood for opening glades is a good idea. Is, is can be a good idea. And uh, uh, villagers move ten percent faster on roads isn't a bad idea either. Um, anything else I want to sell here? I have ridiculous amounts of wood. It's just completely ridiculous. I'll probably will retire one of my woodcutters camps. Um, 
Although, on the other hand, who cares? Um, anything I want to buy, except for amber. I don't think so. I think we'll just we'll just buy the uh, buy the amber. Let's see, three seventy five. I'll give you some wood to balance the trade here. There we go. Three pieces of wood, and go. Oops. Unpause. Nope. Click that. Thank you. We'll just call it there. That's fine. All right, the surge is done now, so we can throw a couple of people at this. We'll just put lizards at it. Doesn't really matter. How are you? You're almost done. Almost done. Villagers, woodcutters, and gatherers get minus 18 to resolve. Ooh. Okay. There we go. There's that. And then the chime was um, the hostility dropping that 150 now that this is done. Uh, let's see, we get those artifacts, we get stone, and we get some of those uh, tablets. Wait, can we... Do we still have... Should I sell? I should sell some of these tablets. We're getting... Five from there. So let's actually sell all of these tablets. And buy all the amber we can. And buy something else. Uh, what do I want from you? We're still making cheap planks, or uh, expensive planks, although... On the other hand, I have so much wood I can't even see straight. Uh, what do I want from you? I need a tool recipe is what I need. I'll take the planks anyway. No, 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 I'll take the bricks because we don't have a source of stone. Uh, we'll go right there. Uh, no, we'll go, we'll go over and then I'll give you some more wood. <laughs> uh, six should do it. Yep, trade, here we go. That'll work, that works for me. And then because we're gonna have these five anyways. So if we need them for any other Glade events, we'll have five of them. Okay, um, so skewers, so a cookhouse would be a good focal point here. Uh, which we don't have. Um, you're making ale and pickled goods, maybe. That's good. And you've got that selected. Um, flour. Let's deselect roots for flour. Yeah, let's deselect roots for flour. Uh, that way, if you get any roots, they go toward the um, go toward the the ale or the the ale specifically, really. Yeah, the ale instead of uh, spending it on. Um, fl on flower. Uh, woodcutter's camp has no trees nearby. Well, we're going to retire one of you, I guess. I guess, for the hostility reasons. So, let's pull those out. I'm going to put this just kind of over here someplace neutral. And uh, we'll let this one finish up what it's got. And then we could go pick out another place to go work. Actually, just finished. If we wanted to do another Forbidden Glade, we have one up here, I think, somewhere that's semi... Ugh. Well, let's just go. Let's dig through here like crazy. Uh, why don't we do a road right alongside this mine? Like that. And then I can clear that piece out there, of course. And I'll let them, uh, you know, I'll move them around. I'll move them down once we get the space to move them down. But we'll just do a road through there. And we'll just cut into that other glade. Why the heck not? Uh, but maybe not as soon as it's on cooldown. There we go. Maybe not as soon as it's on cooldown. This storage maybe actually be superfluous. Uh, if we need the building materials, we could delete it. Uh, although, I should bring the trappers back over here to get some more meat. That'll be fine, though. Um, you're working hard. Hardly working. Working hard. We could even do multiple herbalists here if we wanted. And you, can, you can put as many... You could surround it with them. Like, wall-to-wall, -wall, paint it in kind of thing. Uh, here, scrolls, well, we have pigment now, and we have plenty of leather. Uh, we have a place to sell scrolls here at the temple, so let's get, uh, humans in here. Maybe, like, two of them. Um, we, you can start making simple tools, that's good. And you can start making scrolls, that's good. We'll stop this at 30, I guess. Should be fine. I could put it up to 40 since it's three stars, but I don't really care that much. Two-star ale versus three-star ale. That stays turned off. 
How are we doing on tools, though? Six of them. We could open up one of these small ones, I suppose. Wait, do I have a press? Oil, packs of luxury goods. Should be making incense, too, right? Yeah. Bug incense. Uh, I need to put more people in here. There we go, more people. Uh, you're bored, but you're only making fabric, so that makes sense. And I don't think you need... To we need any more than... I don't think we need to make any water skins. Since we're going to have a 40% chance for them down here. Um, I don't think we need to make any. Do, do, do. Yeah, I think we're just going to get packs of crops when we get mushrooms, and that'll have to be fine. We need more humans, and we need the cookhouse to make some skewers, or we need to buy some skewers from a trader. If I see any, I'll buy them. Uh, here comes the storm. Humans have very high resolve, so we're getting some uh, reputation from them. Uh, we're at 34, and their threshold is 30 for now. And the beavers just about got there. Lizards uh, didn't because uh, it bumped up to 22. Um... As we noticed in the last town. Let's go up the speed level here. Where's the third Forbidden Glade at? Is it very far? Way back here. Way back here. What is another little ruin down here? It looks like a woodcutter camp? No, um not the trapper camp. What is that? What camp is that? One of the camps. Or maybe it's not a camp at all. Or it's the one I don't have. It could be the forager that I don't have. That, that ruin. Uh, so we, if we, to get to this one, it's actually not that far. We could cut through this way into here, and then down into there. So let's go ahead and mark some trees here, too. So we have it for next time. Uh, alt. So I don't cut through before I need to. We need um, some people to be housed. Oh, we're going to have some deaths. Uh oh Um... I need to pull one more of you guys. There we go. No, I need more than that. Uh, we have two people who have a chance for dying right now. I need more housing. ASA and P. There. There. Uh, mine is no available ore, but we might be able to afford the upgrade now. Trapper's camp needs to move. Okay, we'll pause again. Uh, do we want... Let's go with mine carts, maybe. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna use planks, um, but we need to change this to be more. Uh, let's kick this up to at least twenty, so we can get more planks made. Maybe even more like thirty. At this late in the game, I'm probably not gonna get a plank recipe, so it's fine. Uh, and then we'll do this upgrade. We'll leave everybody here. We'll do the upgrade. Or we could do that and get even more stuff, but I think we'll do this one. Oh, Trapper's Camp, right. Move back over here to get the rest of this meat. Sorry about that. Alright, they built the houses. Uh, so the thing we were avoiding here was this, um, this cold snap. By, by pulling that one woodcutter out. We can put them back in here now. And we can do this. I suppose I should just put the other woodcutters back. Because um, we are eating through our wood now a little bit. Well-rested workers. Just the right amount. Villagers with the leisure need, which is wine. Uh, no, with leisure is ale. So we can, we're actually going to have this one somewhat. Uh, have a 10% chance for double yields. Or 10% or 10 amber every time a villager leaves or dies. Well, if I wasn't a slacker, we wouldn't have had any. We didn't have any. But we still wouldn't have had any. So let's go with this option. And people. Uh, humans times two, either case. Let's go with the stone. Although the grain would be useful for ale and flour, but we can get mushrooms, so let's do that. Um, mushrooms and roots. Okay, more people, more housing. No, I have enough housing. I have enough. We should be able to dig through here now. Maybe we could 
reactivate the other one since we have so many people with no jobs to do. Uh, alternatively, I could just set up another herbalist camp. Let's do that instead. Build one of those down here again. We'll just have an extra herbalist instead. We really don't need that much wood. We have so many people anyway. That's fine. Uh, you are getting some stuff. Not a lot. We don't have a recipe for that at all. All right, so now you can move to uh, some bugs. Do we want these bugs, or do we want those bugs? Let's do these ones here first. And then we'll go back to the mine, and we'll upgrade to that. And then we could do level two as well. And um, maybe we'll do level two with the horse once we have the planks for it. So I do not want to spend the bricks. Oh, and uh, the lizards are happy. We're happy for a moment now too. Sorry to disturb you. Two people in there. We're chugging along here on copper bars and pie. We have one more building to get, or one more building opportunity, unless we get one randomly through um, a trader. Although we do have that steady supply of clay, so I guess I didn't need the stone as badly as I thought I did. They're having to walk so far to the storage that it's taken them a little while to cut through this. Plus, I'd like to cut three wide. Um, so that I can slide this along with every time we do building. Oh, low wait, low on food. How are we low on food? We should be getting all kinds of mushrooms from this, and we're turning it into food, right? And we should be getting pickled goods from this, too. We're also picking up all kinds of bugs. Picking up all kinds of mushrooms from here. I didn't start... I didn't put this in place yet, though. I guess that could help. Maybe over here. And a couple people for that. I do have a lot of people. That's why I don't have any food. I have 60... I have 59 people. That's why. Ah, oh, beavers are happy now, too. Nice. Humans lost it a little because their reputation threshold moved up to 34 from 30. Um, might have been at one spot in between. I don't remember. We could do this one. Uh, if we want to do that, though, let's turn off the packs of crops. And... Uh, anything here? Let's see. Mushrooms. Wheat. We've been all three of those still here, so I don't need to, I don't need to throw anything away. Uh, that should help because we're not making those packs anymore. Packs of building materials I already canceled the job here. So let's go ahead and turn this in. That'll get us a bonus to pie production, which would be good. Some more of the, um, whatchamacallit there, the wildfire essence. A bunch more tools. Let's go do some tool work here. Uh, you folks, let's do a couple people here. 34. We can open up two large ones. That one there. Uh, we opened up the one here. We don't have another large one yet then. Uh, we have this one, which is copper, reeds, and mushrooms. We have this one, which is pottery, movement speed, and parts. We have this one, which is pottery, tablets, and copper. We have a couple small ones. Um, I think this one. Throw a couple people at that, too. And then I can open, actually, one more medium one. So maybe this one? Or this one? Or I wait. I think I'll wait. I will wait. Uh, building choice. Last two, choice building. Uh, sp species specific housing. Um, I don't really care. 
At this point, I don't really care because we have so many people. Um, we have the fewest number of humans, so it would be the fewest number of houses to build if we took the human one. Um, the beavers, everybody's going to get happier and then we're going to get less reputation from resolve. They're all going to, the thresholds are going to move up all the same. The lizards will move up the fastest though. So in that logic, then maybe the lizards need the houses. Um, but both of those take bricks and the beaver houses takes planks. Although we're, we have a city supply of clay, so don't be freaking out about that. Well, let's go with lizard houses. And let's put all lizard houses down here in this this area here. All lizard houses. Here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, we need uh, ten of these total. Seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to delete these two, if that wasn't clear. Uh, these take all a bunch of fabric and bricks, so it's going to be a little, bo little bit here to get those all built. But we are going anyway. Come on, open up. There they go. Let's delete this one and this one. Uh, one oh there we go I was, it was one unhoused person for a moment the one food again yeah because we don't have enough food for all the people we've taken I know I know I was I was told about that being going to be a problem but I ignored it as I often do there we go it's the proto wheat of course ancient proto wheat which is a forager's camp we don't have. Uh, worm tongue, which is bugs, coal, copper, medium abandoned cache, and a fishman outpost. Well, let's look at the fishman outpost. 10 minutes. In 10 minutes, villagers have a 25% chance of death after eating something. Uh, let's see here. What goods do we want to send? I guess oil. I guess. Uh, while we're working this, Cooked and raw food in the storage, just peering at a rate of four items every 10 seconds. Well, we don't have much food, so that's fine. And um, minus two to global resolve for every seven cut trees. So we want to stop cutting trees as well For while well, this is being worked. Uh, we'll get 10 copper and 30 wood for opening every cache. Six more artifacts, citadel resource artifacts, and 40 meat. And let's do it. A couple of you can come down here and investigate that. I'll let them cut these two or three trees here, and then we'll stop cutting trees. It says uh, seven trees, so as long as we don't cut seven trees, we don't see the debuff. And minus two global resolve won't hurt that badly either. We're going to be on this a little bit in the storm, um, because they've got three minutes to go, and they got to get the oil here first. But Shork is here, so let's, take, let's, let's talk to Shork. Ooh, skewers. Uh, how many skewers do I need to do? 60. 60 skewer happiness. Well, you've got 50, so that's five-sixths of the way to the thing. Maybe we can get lucky some other way. Maybe. One insect for every two mushrooms produced. That would be that would have been nice to have earlier. Uh, we can sell these packs of provisions. We can sell maybe a couple of these. That gets us in the positive again. So why don't we buy that? Planting crops is faster. Farmer carry? No. Anything else we got? We, although maybe I should buy food. That'll give me food. But maybe I should buy food? Also? Well, let's buy this. Because we have a lot of amber, actually. Um, thank you. Uh, this. Let's buy some more food. Let's, let's take some... We're making pie. Uh, we're making pie. Pickled goods and jerky. We could buy the biscuits, and of course I did that, and then I could do this again, I guess, and all of those, of course. Let's buy some biscuits. How much can I buy? I could buy all of them. Do I want to buy all of them? Maybe. What can I sell you for, like, 20 cents? How about a piece of fabric? There you go. That'll work for me. 
Uh, so we have we're getting a hundred food out of the hundred complex food out of the deal here. Uh, so that'll help with um, the food problems. And yes, it's gonna that uh, Glade event's gonna eat some of this food. Uh, so maybe we don't want to do this yet. Crap. But we have to do it because he's only gonna be here for a minute. Uh, that's all right. We're probably not gonna get to this one anyway, or that one for that matter, because of uh, yeah, time. What do we have here? Coal, barrel production, and fabric. That's anticlimactic. Wait, was there a large one here too? No. Uh, how about this one? How about this one? This one's got food. Let's do this one. Go. Oh, look at that. Wait, it won't show me what it is? I mean, that's... That's obviously the minecart. That is super cool. That is... Su I'm, I'm, I, I like the little claw things on the front of it. That are pulling it along. Um, that is hilariously cool. I'm actually going to use that for the uh, thumbnail picture. Because um, that is pretty awesome. Let it go over to the, where the mine is. Right there. That way I can get the mine in the picture too. Uh, like this maybe? I think that'll be okay. Okay. Distractions. Distractions. Uh, we have hostility issues due to this, but I can also pull all three of these guys out. That didn't make a difference? Oh, because we don't have... Yeah, we're going to have gluttony issues then. They're going to consume double the amount of food too. Uh, you folks can come over here. Once I once we're done with the storm, we can put them in there and we can cut that way. I don't know that we're gonna get to the third one just because of of the time here, uh, unless we want to just go past the end of the game for it. It's a lot of lizard houses there in that neighborhood. We have managed to extract, like, almost 90 charges. Almost 10%. 9%, I guess. It's pretty good. All the skewers are gone, and we only got 30. The rest of them got, eat got eaten by the, uh, by the Glade event. Bummer. I could potentially call the, uh... The trader immediately, but I don't know that Farloff has skewers, so it's not going to give me anything unless Farloff happens to have a cookhouse. Um, sad. This is the only place to make skewers, at least right now. Uh, show all. Skewers. Yeah, we don't have the grill or the butcher yet, as far as I know, so the only place to make them is the uh, skewer, is the cookhouse. Um, and the chances of getting a building from here is pretty low, so I don't know if I want to bother. Religious settlement gain one human resolve for 78 cents produced. That's a little late for this, but we could do it. Otherwise, there's this one, which we might already have. So I'm just going to do this one anyway. You can throw some people in here again. And you know what? Forget it. I'm just going to restaff this one up too. Hostility 4, so it's a good time to... Um, end soon. Wait a minute. Is this, did they finish this? They did. Oh, uh, this? They did. Okay, good. They're just unloading the meat now. Um, and there's our win. Uh, we've got a lot of deeds. A few deeds. Not as many as the last time, but you're you're never going to get the same amount twice, I don't think. We hit level 4. New Citadel upgrades. Guildhouse. Clan Hall. Cellar. Metal Delivery Line. Rebellious Spirit and Safe Haven. Minus 40 to hostility for every hub upgraded. Level Neighborhood. Uh, cornerstone. Nice. Let's um, let's continue the settlement for just a little while, and let's see if we can cut to that third one, just so I can show what that third uh, third thing looks like. We're never going to finish those two orders unless we happen to have six people, six humans here, and we don't. I'm not going to bother taking people then. Trapper's camp needs to move again. Uh, is it down to just eggs now? Though There's bugs left. Let's come out here and put up 
put you up out here. Um, sadly, 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 we don't have the herbalist camp. Let's play leapfrog here. We can go ahead and punch into that glade too. Oh, I had four. There we go. Newcomers are waiting. I know we're gonna we're gonna ignore them though. Thank you. That's a truly impressive population, but it's way too many people. I only took so many near the end here because I'm trying to get the 16 humans. That was probably foolish to begin with. And everything we do from now on does not count for anything. Uh, as far as the metagame goes, we don't take anything more with us. Um, it was just now just about seeing that final, uh, that final uh, giant organism. Roots, mushrooms, copper, coal, grill, we new abandoned cache, and large destroyed caravan. So we do actually get a grill, which has the skewers. You jerks! Or I could get two for 20 free skewers. Uh, let's go ahead and start them. Well, start them on this first, which is the largest red caravan. Minus six to global resolve. Traders are afraid and will not visit the area after the 10 minute thing. And you get an impatience point. This is actually one of these sort of easy ones um, to get early on. And the minus six to resolve is a, is a hit early on, but not like some of these other ones uh, can be. So this one's not a bad one to get early on in your game. Uh, let's do the rest of the path to here. We can continue around for right now. I'll throw the uh, three people at this that need to be thrown. We'll grab the materials. We'll rebuild that. Let me go grab also the scavenger to come down here and start working on roots instead. We need the roots. And then let's go back around this building like that. And then we'll just turn and go this way. And then woodcutters are complaining. Perfect. We can go that way. Move here. Move there. Uh, path here. Nice crooked road there. I'm going to put a storage out here, I think. Not that we really need it, but it'll help the woodcutters too. So I'm going to put it in right there. I'll come and build that one real quick. As long as we have... Oh, we saw parts. Good. What was the other thing? Oh, the, the mine with the planks with the... This one. It's going to cost tools too, but that's okay. It's kind of pointless now, but I'm doing it anyway. And uh, lizards are lizards, so I think we'll go with lizards on this one. Don't want either of those... Um, but they get both bonuses, so, I mean, you get what you get, right? Oh, wait, uh, go back in there. Save again. Since we're getting near the end here, it's a good, good idea. There. And I'm just gonna let this open when it opens, and not worry about any, uh, you know, problems or whatever. Because it's, um... We're at the end. I can just quit whenever I want to. The only thing I wish is that you could bring up that windscreen again, somehow. Um, I closed it. I wanted to maybe talk a little bit about it more than I did. So I wish we could have opened it reopen it. Um, something that I would like them to add is the ability to reopen it. Maybe when you click the move on button, it comes back up or something. That'd be nice to be able to have instead of just asking you, are you sure? Are you ready? Uh, are you sure you're ready? Um, give us the option maybe for that um, instead. I think that would be nice to have. I just wanted to get that skewers if I could. And here we are. So, uh... Oh, you. Okay. I was like, uh, hopefully it's not the one. Uh, let's do those. Or these. Uh, it's fine. Doesn't matter. Um, so, Glade here. This is a giant, uh, dead leviathan. 
This will give us meat with a chance for leather, sea marrow, jerky, and crystallized dew, which is an odd thing there, but some more roots, some caches, and the ancient burial site, which requires um, either one of these one of these two uh, services-based goods, both of which we are able to make, but we're not really making a lot of, some oil or the tools, of course. Uh, its working effect is eight points of hostility for every four cut trees. Uh, its uh, threat here is rotten matter, uh, spawn six pieces of living matter after 10 minutes. Three incense for every 10 roots produced would be would have been a nice thing to have earlier on, of course. You get those randomly. Uh, some scrolls and some tablets for the wind there. Um, and just so, I don't think I actually mentioned, in addition to grain here, uh, you get a chance for reeds, herbs, oil, and amber. So you, that's all three of the, um, the Forbidden Glade uh, dead organisms. And we can pull out of here and we can head to the citadel now and um, finish up, you know, what's the aftermath of this map. Uh, move on. Yes. All right. So as you can see, we got two machinery and six artifacts. Thanks in part to some of those caches we opened. The uh, uh, Smoldering City here, we have four deeds that we finished. Discovering ten glades, we then what was going to happen eventually. Let's take that. 50 experience points. The Marshland, we won a game on the Bio of the Marshlands. They gave us an achievement, in this case in Steam, but also it applies in uh, Epic or GOG, if you have the game in those launchers. 50 experience points for that as well. Trade goods worth 200 amber. This is another, I think, accumulative one, so we were going to get this one eventually anyway. And then fin finally here, uh, win a game with at least 25 lizards. We had 30. That's impressive. 50 more points here. Puts us just shy of level 5. Jerks. All right, so... Oh, I should have switched tabs there. Upgrades choices. We have 45 food to spend. Uh, we, we can get through this one now if we want to. So let's take a look here at the Monastery of the Vigilant Flame. Plus 2% to burning durations for all types of fuel burned in the hearth. And embark bonuses for stone and clay. Those would have been nice to have in the marshlands in retrospect. Um... Because these are like the plus two or plus three or whatever. Uh, those would have been nice to have. Although we didn't have the points anyway, the embark points. Here, um, not only do we get the base stat again, but we also get a cornerstone pool increase. So instead of two cornerstones to choose from, we have three. There's another one of these somewhere somewhere later on in this tree. Uh, there it is. So you get up to four cornerstones. Uh, we can open up this building, the dim square. Its base stat is permanent plus three percent to bonus bonus to trader arriving speed arrival speed and allows you to establish trade routes with other nearby settlements. This is the second trader option. Uh, the um, the first one we've been doing with the little trading camp. The second one is actual trade routes between settlements. That's a useful uh, thing to have if you remember to use it, which I don't always. Getting to upgrade the hub to the neighborhood would be really nice. So this one's strong on my list, although it's 24 of our foods, so maybe not. Um, and then, of course, the base stat here is plus 2% to global production speed. We can continue with the Obsidian Archive that we've been working on primarily so far to get some more reduction in Queens of Patience speed and reputation picks pool increased. You have one additional option to choose from when picking blueprints blueprints for reputation so that gives us that fourth wild card slot and i think that's the only one right uh, uh, uh. yes that is the only one okay back down here and the final choice here is first dawn headquarters plus one percent to the chance for bonus production yields and embark bonuses for vegetables and meat 24 points means that i cannot afford but 45 points, excuse me, means that I can only afford a 10 and a 24. I'm going to go ahead and buy this 10 because I think it makes sense to unlock the Monastery of the Vigilant Flame uh, and get that uh, the fuel burn speed uh, or duration rather bonus. Um, so really the choice is between which one of these 24 foods do I want to spend? Like I said, this one is a very strong candidate. This one is also a very strong candidate. I want both of them. We'll obviously get both of them eventually. Um, 
I'm definitely going to pick one of the two that have the artifacts. Um, the hubs or the additional cornerstone choice. That is a tough one. That is a tough one. I think I'm going to go with this one. The hubs to the neighborhood. Uh, so let's do that. And hope that I made the right choice. That brought in two additional buildings here. Uh, as you can see, we now have four buildings of the seven. One there, one there, and then there's like a little neighborhood thingy down there. Uh, so we now have four of our buildings, and we can uh, proceed to another town. Since we're 40 minutes into this episode, I think I'm just going to have a quick look around here. Uh, we have two Fertile Grounds modifiers here. So I think those would be the best choice, although not the greatest choice because of... We're going to have to overlap um, our town here, our existing town, by one. Because we can't go out by two, which I think is actually... Or by three, excuse me. We can go out by two, but not by three. Um, but that's two from... Yeah, that's why. Okay. Um, we really need the expedition range uh, bonus that's here in the upgrades tree as well. Where is that at? Is that over... Where is the embark range? Here it is right here. So, um, <clears throat> excuse me, we need to get up to level six here before we can, if we're gonna get an, a wider embark range on the map. Anyway, so I think what we'll do is we could choose either this Royal Woodlands or this Marshlands map. Uh, let me know your, your thought, uh, which one you want. I wanna definitely do this specific tile or this specific tile because they're only overlapping by the one tile there with Subol. So let me know your thoughts um, in the chat, in the comments, or come to my Discord. The link is in the description below. If you have any strong opinions on whether you'd like to see a Marshlands again or a Royal Woodlands again, I would like to eventually make our way into the Coral Forest and the Scarlet Orchard, but I also want to get the, the modifiers. So actually, you know what? Fertile Grounds at the Marshlands might be a, not a bad idea because by default, the marshlands has, wait a minute, where's it at? Oh, here, small amount of soil, but with the fertile uh, grounds modifier, they have an increased chance of fertile soil. So that means you might actually get some fertile soil in the marshlands, maybe. Um, but let me know uh, if you want to see Royal Woodlands or Marshlands next, and we'll start that town in the next episode. So thank you all for joining me, and I will see you then. Bye for now.